It'd be a shame to see this place go, wouldn't it? But it doesn't make sense being here all alone trying to take care of it all. Yeah. But you know, he's been struggling since Mum's death. Maybe this will give him some closure. Where is he? He better be ready. Dad! Dad! I'm going to miss this place so much. The memories. You took your first steps right over there. It was absolutely the best thing to do, I'm sure of it. Jason's packing a lot of your stuff in the car. We can hang around if you want to wait a little longer. No, it's fine. I'm ready to go.
Dad. How you settling in? I'm not too well. There's something strange about the house. What do you mean? I don't know. Noises and things moving and... Dad, I forget where I put things in the house too. You know, you're bound to be a little all over the place at the moment. It's fine. Now try and relax, yeah? Enjoy this new chapter of your life. No, no, it's, it's more than that. There's something weird going on here. Okay. Well, do you want Jason to pop round before work tomorrow? No. No, it's okay. You've got enough on your plate without worrying about babysitting me. Don't be silly. We want to help. At least give us a call, yeah, if you need anything. You know, we're always happy to swing by. Okay, I will. Good night, sweetheart. Speak to you soon. Okay, love you. Bye. God, it never stops with him. I know, right? You pushed me, you bastard. I didn't. Well, I may have given you a little shove. But if you weren't so drunk, you wouldn't have fallen in. It was five miles back to that hotel and my money was all soaked. Mm, those were the days, eh? Where did our youth go? Still, you did all right for yourself, made a pretty penny and lived a good life. Yeah, can't complain. I can, I'm still buying you round, you tight bastard. <laughs> you don't get the good life by being flippant with your earnings. Hmm. Sorry to hear about you and Gwen, mate. We just grew apart. Things were amicable enough until the solicitors started getting involved and then she's demanding absolutely everything. The house, the holiday home, our investments. I'm scared I'm going to end up with nothing at all. The worst thing is, the children. They've taken her side and won't even talk to me. It's got so ugly. I don't think anyone really remembers the good times we had together as a family. Yeah. I'd give anything to have mine back how it was. She was a wonderful woman, your wife. Um, don't you think it's time you started to move on? So can I? It's easier said than done, surely, but... Couldn't you just... I'd best be off, mate. See you, mate. Cheers.
If somebody's there, I'll call in the police. Are you okay, Dad? We're worried sick about you. Jesus, you scared the life out of me. I didn't even hear you come in. We woke up to all those missed calls from you this morning and when we rang you back, you didn't answer. What's going on? I don't know. There's something going on with the house. At first I thought somebody was breaking in, but it just doesn't make any sense. Nothing's ever missing, just moved. It's like somebody's purposely trying to mess with my head. The more I think about it, the crazier it is. But I'm really starting to think that it's not someone, but something. Look, I know things have been difficult. Difficult? You don't hey, know what no, difficult no. is. He's just trying to help you. He just meant that- I know what he meant. He thinks it's all in my head, you both do. I'm telling you, there's something going on in this house. I am not alone here. I'm not saying it's in your head. I'm not saying anything. It's just with all the calls and this erratic behaviour and... I'm trying to help you. But you have to understand, there's nothing going on in this house. Fine. I'll deal with this all by myself. Sorry to bother you with it. Don't be like that. It's fine. Now, if you don't mind, I was about to have my breakfast.
go away. Okay, come over as quickly as I could. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, look at this. So look, hauntings and poltergeists. What? You've got me all the way over here to look at this rubbish, you stupid bastard. I thought you were in some sort of trouble. I am in trouble. There's been all these weird happenings. Noises, things moving. I swear, something's in my house. It's there when I wake up, when I go to sleep, when I eat. When I watch TV, mm. waiting for me when I get home, I can sense it. Since the moment I moved into that place, I can feel it watching me. Okay. You have to understand that from my perspective, this is really looking ridiculous. I'm not being bloody ridiculous. I need some help here. I thought I could rely on you. You can rely... Okay, tell you what. My suggestion, grab some of your things, come over my place for a few days. It'll be good for you to have the company. No, I can't. I do appreciate that, but I can't let this thing beat me. I can't just run away. Well, what are you going to do then? I just need to show everyone what I've been seeing. I think I got an idea. Hmm. Mr. Tyler. Hi, come in. Traffic wasn't too bad, I found it quite easily too, so that's nice, isn't it? Okay, shall we get started? Uh-huh. So, we can put a camera on the front door, uh, one on the back. And you wanted the full interior too, is that right? Exactly as we discussed on the phone. Great, yes, uh, full HD, night mode, all of it records onto the hard drive and the footage is stored for up to 10 days. I've even thrown a monitoring for you too, how's it? Okay. I must say, it is a little unusual to have cameras on the inside of the property. Yeah, he just wants it for his own peace of mind. Right, fine. I'll get started sealing it up and uh, milk two sugars, please, Mr. Taylor. Thank you.
Oh, hi, John. Um, oh, today's flown by, mate. Sorry, I haven't looked at my phone at all. Oh, don't tell me you've been sitting watching that CCTV all day. Don't be silly, I've only just switched it on. Uh, <laughs> what time is it anyway? Uh, 6.10 exactly. Really? Already? Yeah, so I won't be long. Be long? Yeah, the table's booked for eight. We can't be late, they'll all be there. Well, that, that's tomorrow night, isn't it? No, tonight, Friday. Get yourself ready. You've still got plenty of time. I'll, I'll be over shortly. OK, um... I've still got time for a quick bath. I'll, uh, I'll see you shortly. Bye. Oh.
time, Nokia. It's time to let go. Come with me now. Welcome everyone. We gather here today to celebrate the life of William Jones and to give thanks for his life and the experiences that we shared together. William was father to Heather and a husband to his late wife Elaine and a friend to all of us. William was a very successful businessman and a philanthropist. He spent most of his money supporting local charities. William was not only a successful businessman, but a successful person who excelled in every aspect of his life. He had an exceptional close bond with his daughter and his son-in-law, Jason. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry we haven't got in touch with you. It's just, well, we've had a lot to deal with. We're so grateful for everything you did for us. You uh, helped my dad maintain his independence. You're welcome. I, I'm just so sorry for your loss. <laughs> we tried so hard to help him, but he just... He was just always pushing us away. He was just... I don't know, he was just terrified. All the time. I mean, he didn't recognise me at all. And he always... It was almost like he thought I was trying to hurt him. But he'd see him wail so scared like that all the time. Don't blame yourself, okay? He was very ill for a, for a very long time. Fifteen years after my mum died, he developed Louis body dementia. He changed beyond all recognition. Sometimes he gets so confused that he didn't even recognise anyone around him, including me and himself. He used to call us 10, 15 times a day, saying there's people in the house. You could hear noises all around him. I know he was difficult. Wandering around at all hours in the evening, opening and closing doors, and getting convinced that someone had broken in. He couldn't have functioned without you in the end, and we'll always be grateful for that. Come on, we better go, the car's waiting. So much for everything you do again. <laughs> Above and beyond for him. We'll always be so grateful. Okay. Um, you know, is was is John here? He spoke of him quite a lot. I haven't seen him yet. Um John died years ago.
Hadi.